The city of Marrakesh in the northwest African nation of Morocco is a cultural, religious and trading hub. The Red City, or Oka City, earns its name from the amazing colour of its walls. With the largest traditional Berber market, or souk, the series of interconnected streets are packed with vendors trading goods from beautifully crafted wooden jewellery to the finest handmade metal ornaments. It's easy to be charmed by the magic of Marrakesh. The nicest feature of Marrakesh is the fact that of its proximity to Europe. Uh, it's, Marrakesh is less than two, two and a half hours flight from some of the main European capitals, such as Paris or, or, or Berlin or London. And it's, it's a great feature to be so close to, to European capitals. Uh, and yet, when you land in Marrakesh, you're, you feel that you're so far away from, from Europe. And that's one of the main selling points that Marrakesh has. Marrakesh is undergoing something of a sporting boom as the Moroccan government encourages the development of golf facilities south of the city. The impressive Asufid course opened in 2014 and is setting new standards. Well, the golf season in Marrakesh starts uh, around uh, September and goes until May or June. Asufid Golf Club is about 10 kilometers uh, southwest of uh, Marrakesh city centre. Um, that means that we're uh, far enough to be out on the, on, on the countryside, let's say, of Marrakesh. We received an award from the World Golf Awards as the best new course in Africa in 2014, which was a, which was a great honor for us. It, the weather is fantastic and the temperature rarely goes below 10 degrees. And even in the winter, you can have days of 20 to 25 degrees, which is wonderful. But uh, in terms of, you know, sun days per year, there are over 300 sunny days per year, which, which is great for, for golf. And that sunny climate has led to a course that offers a unique challenge for golfers travelling from Europe. Designed by former European tour professional Niall Cameron, the layout has integrated the existing environment with fairways and greens still surrounded by the desert. The quality of the design of the golf course is, is very good. Uh, the, the condition of the course, we, we keep it in very good condition, so that's also a very important point. You know, people go on holiday, they pay a lot of money to play golf courses, and the, it's important that the golf course and the service behind is very good. The feedback since we've been open has been, been very good. People like the golf course. It's, it's challenging, but at the same time, any level of golfer can have fun here at Asifid. Well, the, the golf course is a, it's a, de it's a desert style, style golf course. It's, it's like a typical that you would see in in the States, in Nevada or Arizona, where you have to hit over a, a piece of desert ground to reach a fairway. And if you, if you leave the fairways on the right or the left, you go into the desert zones. So technically, that's very interesting. And, and also, actually, from a, an irrigation point of view, it's also very interesting for us because when you, when you play the course, and you're especially in the tee of 17, for example, it really looks like the, the golf course, the grass has been laid down on a carpet on the, on the natural terrain. Whereas from, if there was uh, actually grass from the tee all the way to the green, there would be a lot more irrigation involved, obviously. So from a water consumption point of view, it's very interesting, especially in a, in a hot climate like in, that you get in Marrakesh. Set against the backdrop of the Atlas Mountains, many of the holes offer breathtaking views, so picking your favourite hole is not an easy decision. There's a par five we have on, on the, the back nine, uh, the 15th hole, which is it's a very difficult a, a hole and it's got a, a, a cluster of palm trees in the middle of the fairway and you have to choose where you're going to go right or left, uh, which is not everybody's cup of tea because they, sometimes they hit a dead straight shot, they end up behind the, tr the, the trees, but I, I think it's a fabulous hole, uh, very challenging, very technical, that's one of uh, my favourite holes. We also have the, the 17th hole, which has been sort of recognized as Asifi's signature hole, basically because you're at a very high point on the tee and you can see the entire back nine holes from that point. Uh, and also it's a beautiful hole in itself, a, a short par three, uh, a little bit like you have at the 12th of Augusta, a wide, lo wide green, but not very deep with trouble before and after. So it's, um, these are two particular holes that stand out. But what I like about the course also are there are not too many holes that are similar. They, they, every hole has its separate identity. You don't feel that you've already played a hole when you arrive at a tee. 
Asufid Golf Club is only just starting its journey, but is already offering top-class services to match its award-winning course. The Asufid development isn't stopping there, with plans already in the pipeline to extend over the next few years. It's definitely an exciting time for golf in Morocco. Asufid Golf Club is a part of the Asufid development. The Asufid development in the future will include a hotel, a five-star hotel, and also some residences and um, you know, villas and, and so on. At the moment we have a, a clubhouse uh, which includes a restaurant and a private member's uh, uh, room and, and also obviously a pro shop and, and all the other facilities that go in a clubhouse. Um, we also have a private pavilion uh, which we use to uh, cater for small private events. Um, the restaurant is managed by uh, um, a chef, a French chef called Damien Durand and um, his style of food is, is a very European style of food um, but it's also important to, to say that uh, one of the things that we uh, pride ourselves on is the service level that, uh, that we work every day to, to improve. And we believe that golfers are more and more not only looking for a good site and a good maintenance of the course, but also a great service level experience.